persons entering a blood bank are such that one in three have type O plus blood. It means probability of O plus equal one third. And one in fifteen have type O minus. Probability of O minus has one over fifteen blood. Consider three randomly selected donors for the blood bank. Let x denote the number of donors with type O plus blood and y denote the number of number with type O minus blood. Find the probability distribution for x and y. Okay, let me explain x first. So only three randomly selected donors. Therefore, what are the possibilities? First one can be O plus, second one O plus, third one O plus O. First one O plus, second one O plus, third one may be something else, right? Because there are uh, other uh, blood groups also. Therefore, I say S. Next one O plus, uh, this one, second one, then something else and O plus. O plus, something else and S, right? Then S, O plus, O plus, S. S O plus S O plus S S S S. So that is the X, right? So then, what are the X values? So X values, we can find the X values using these possibilities. So these are the all possibilities. Therefore, here uh, X it means X values number of O plus three, and here uh, number of O plus 2 and here number of O plus 1 here number of O plus 0 right therefore we know x can be 0 1 2 and 3 right then how do we find the probability of x equals 0 Probability of x equals 0 mean first one something else and second one also else and third one also s right. So they are independent you know they are for probability of s, probability of s, probability of s. Now thing is what is the probability of s? Here we consider o plus and the other therefore we can say probability of s equal 1 minus probability of o plus. So this is two third. Therefore, this answer is two third to power three. Therefore, this is eight over twenty seven. Similarly, we can find probability of x equal one. Actually, you see x equal one. Let me use blue color. Make it clear x equal one. So x equal one means only one O plus you see here one and here one and here also one. So we can write probability O plus and S and S. So next the second uh, simple event. So we use summation uh, probability S and S and O plus. Next one also summation probability S and O plus and S. So we know these are independent. So we can uh, get this probability of S, probability of S, plus probability of S, probability of S, probability of O plus, plus probability of S, probability of O plus, times probability of S. So we can do that way. You see, uh, all are the same. Therefore, I can say three times probability of O plus times probability of S times probability of S. So this is probability of O plus three times one third and time what is the probability of S? It is two third to power two, right? Yes. So this is you see. 4 over 9. Therefore, this is 4 over 9. Then we can consider the probability of x equal to 
you know x equal to should be this this and this so the following the similar steps and process uh, for the like above so we can write down this three time probability of o plus time probability of o plus time probability of s right was x equal to so this is is what three time one third to power two time two over three right so this is two over nine therefore two over nine actually now we can find that this uh, you can find it it is one over twenty seven so that is the probability distribution for x and similarly you can find the probability distribution of y actually then uh, instead of positive here you put the negative here negative negative and negative negative but this is the same but thing is uh, we use probability here actually probability of minus should be it is 115 then what is the probability of s if you consider y for the y so that should be 14 over 15 so this is the these are the values you the numbers you consider for that for the y right next one find the probability distribution for x plus y okay how do we find the probability distribution for x plus y first understand this let z equal x plus y okay let z equal x plus y so what is this uh, this mean x is o plus uh, y is o minus therefore this mean person with blood group o right because o has only two groups o plus and o minus therefore z is x plus y therefore z is the person with blood group o maybe o plus o or o minus so let me write down then probability of finding a person with blood group o right what is that i say will be what you know the first one or plus is one third and second one in mean or minus is one fifteen right then answer is two fifth so that is the probability of that then understand this what are the values of y yes you see we consider only three therefore first one can be an O, it mean maybe O minus O, O plus, it doesn't matter, O somehow, second one O, third one O, first one O, O, and this one, maybe something else, right? Therefore, O, S, O, 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 uh, sorry, S, S, and S, O, O, S, O, S, 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 O, S, 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 so these are the possibilities. So, you see, here Z value O3, here Z value I mean, yeah, it's two, and here z value is one, and here zero. Then same way we can find z z value. Uh, I say zero, one, two, three, and probability z equal simple z. Right. So this is. Let me write down it again to make it clear probability z equal to 5 it mean here probability of o and probability of z complement that is you know uh, 3 over 5 and uh, that is probability of s right so how do we find the probability of z equal 0 that is equal probability of s and s and s this do you know independent probability of s probability of s time probability of s 
so you know probability of s a three three fifth right yeah three fifth therefore three fifth to power three okay so therefore we can find this twenty seven over one twenty five so I can fill here twenty seven over one twenty five similarly we can find the probability of z equal one do you know uh, z equal one mean o one right so this one and this one and we have another one here so we can write uh, three times probability of s probability of s and probability of zero because of independent you know now this the probability of s equal three fifth to power two and two fifth right so this is fifty four fifty four over one twenty five therefore fifty four over one twenty five similarly you can find the probability of z equal two and probability of z equal three so this uh, I can write 36 over 125 and this one 8 over 125. That is the distribution, probability distribution for x plus y.